searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man sent the spirit on the inside of him? For even so the things of God know no man but what? By the spirit of God. Somebody say, I need to hook up with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we may know the things that are freely given to by God. Which things also we speak not in words, words of man, which is man's wisdom teaches, but by the Holy Ghost teaching. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. But the natural man, somebody say the natural man, cannot receive the things of the spirit. For they are foolishness to him. Neither can he know, perceive, or understand them. Somebody say because they are spiritually discerned. Tonight I want to speak from the subject important updates. There is some important updates and if I was to give um, a subtopic, subtopic tonight, I would say that there's going to be a shift in my spirit. Come on. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of y'all know people of God that God is raising the standard in this season? I know people have told you name it and claim it and it's going to be done. I know people have told you just speak it in the atmosphere and it's going to happen but how many of you know people of God it's time for the church to come into a revelation of the operation of the spirit of God. And you got to understand people of God as children of the most high we possess the spirit. The Bible says know ye not that the body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Ah, God, which is not of you. You do not belong to yourself, but you belong to God. And you was bought with the price. And you have to understand, people of God, that there is a spiritual inheritance for the body of Christ. And so often, not many have tapped into what God is doing season after season. And if we're going to get in the vein of God, and we're going to tap into the heartbeat of God, and we're going to have to come to a place where we have a spiritual revelation and there are so many people in the body of Christ even now in a place of depression and now at a place of um, discouragement because of what's going on with the economic drop and what's going on with marriages but if we ever tap into the spirit realm you have to understand people of God things will be altered we got to come to a place people of God that if we're going to get our own our inheritance or our blessing since we have to have what I call a spiritual perception. And not all of us can honestly say that we have had a spiritual experience. Uh, most of us know Jesus by what the pastor say. How many of you really know him for your own self? Uh, because you got to know him through the spirit. Uh, I cannot preach right here and tell you people of God, uh, if you want to get something that you've never had, uh, then you got to know somebody that you've never known. Uh, and if you want to walk into the blessings of God, you have to come to the place where you go hook up with the Holy Ghost. Tell your neighbor, it's got to be a Holy Ghost hook up in this next season. It got to be a Holy Ghost hook up in this next season. But often in the body of Christ, we cannot hook up because we got ears that we cannot hear and we got eyes that we can't see with. In other words, we're spiritually blind. Tell your neighbor, it's time to get the cataract out your spirit. Some of us are spiritual, got spiritual cataract in our eyes. And it's time for the church to take the blinders off. The church is the only place that owns everything and don't possess nothing. I wish I had a church tonight that would say, it's my season to walk into what God has promised me. You can be the next musician. You can be the next world evangelist. You can be the next TV evangelist, but you don't know because you won't hook up with the Holy Ghost. Some of y'all are waiting for men to identify who you is, but Paul gave the analogy that man wisdom amounts to nothing. It's time for us to get the wisdom of God. 
God. And if we are going to get the wisdom of God, we got to saturate ourselves in a place where we're going to talk with the Holy Ghost. I wish I had a church tonight. I didn't come to tickle your fancy tonight. I come to praise you up into dimensions. I come to take you behind the veil. I come to uncover that was hidden. I come to unreveal. I come to reveal for you the intent of God. Because the church shouting and they shouting for a bunch of nothing. God, somebody give God a hand clap of praise. I'm a victim of it. You a victim of it. Ain't no sense of getting mad. It's time to get delivered. Somebody say it's my time to get delivered. Because the Bible says in Matthew 13 and 15, but these people has white growths in their hearts and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes have been closed. Lest that any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and healed. See, people of God, you got to understand that God desires when he saved you to heal you in every area. And salvation is not um, um, limited to your walk with God or eternity. Salvation comes from the Greek word sortio. And it means to be delivered from any type of captivity or bondage and to be moved in a place of our dominion and power. You know when you got power when the devil wakes up and get mad because you didn't put your feet on the ground. You know when you got power when the devil keep messing with you and you keep overcoming him. You know when you got power oh God when the devil messing with your finances and you still gotta praise. You know when you got power when the devil come in your family and wreck heaven but you can still say for God I live and for God I die because you got a revelation of how big your God is and you got a revelation by the spirit and the unction of the Holy Ghost that God don't bring me out without a shadow of a doubt sit down let's talk for a minute God is speaking but we're not listening church I feel it's all in my belly because can I testify and tell on my own self because at times people of God because of what I'm going through I cannot focus on what God is saying and that's what's happening in the church chaos is all around you diverse situations is in the atmosphere but instead of you hooking up with God you look at what you're going through and it sidetracks you from where God is taking you it's time to listen church tell your neighbor neighbor it's time to listen it's time to hear the voice of God it's time for us to stop being busy inclined with what's going on around us and be inclined with who's on the inside I wish I had a church right there cause the bible says I put treasure in earthen vessels anybody full of treasure the bible says greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world so no matter what I'm going through the greater one is on the inside of me no matter what I'm faced with the greater one is on the inside of me anybody got the greater one on the inside because when you have the greater baby there's no limitations when you have the greater there's no restrictions tell you baby it's time to move out of mediocrity it's time to move out of status quo it's time to get out of average it's time to get out of norm just shout for nothing and shout for a purpose it's time to hook up with the holy ghost so he can tell you what the treasure is so he can tell you how your promotion is coming up because the text says that i have not seen and ears have not heard nor has it entered into the heart of man the things that god has prepared it means it's already be prepared and you're predestined for greatness i wish somebody would say it was prepared before the foundation of the earth i was supposed to be a millionaire before the foundation of the earth i was supposed to be an entrepreneur before the foundation of the earth i was supposed to be a business owner before the foundation of the earth i was supposed to own a daycare before the foundation of the earth i was supposed to be balling before the foundation of the earth i did it in the world who i can do it in the church somebody say it's time it's time for me to transition out of this place and when we think about people of god what god is saying people of god we must come to realize 
that there is some important updates uh, there is some downloads everybody that has a computer could understand what I'm saying God want to download something in your spirit uh, but he needs your attention uh, God want to speak to you and there's several ways uh, that God speaks to us and uh, we're going to talk about that because the church uh, sometimes can discern the voice of God uh, they can discern when the spirit is speaking uh, so it leaves them people of God with a lack uh, a lack of possessions and a lack of fulfillment but if you ever get to the place where you can discern what God is saying, when God is moving, when it's time to rise, when it's time to lunch out, when it's time to step in position, you'll be further than where you at to right now. Anybody want to go further tonight? I don't need another good message. I just need something that's going to move me further than I've ever been. I'm tired of being at this place right here. I've been here too long. I'm tired of going around the same mountains. I've been here too long. Well, it's some things that you have to understand, beloved, in order for you to go to that place. you got to get connected with the Spirit of God. Because the Bible says that the Spirit of God knows everything, even the deep things. And if we're going to get anything revealed to us, that means to make known, or to uncover, or to unveil, we got to get in the presence of the Spirit. But some of us are too busy, and it's trying we are too busy and don't have enough time uh, to hook up with the Holy Ghost. Uh, some of us will hook up with our booze uh, instead of sitting down getting a word from God. Uh, uh, but tell your neighbor your boo can bring you where the spirit can. Uh, uh, some of us will stay on our job uh, and miss church uh, just so we can make more money. Uh, but God said if you hook up with the spirit of God that's moving in the church, uh, then I can take you further than where you at. Uh, we got to get out of this place uh, of comfortable. We got to get out of this place uh, of sloppiness. Uh, come on somebody, it takes uh, if anything worth having, if you going to have to work for it. Uh, we got to come to the place uh, where it's not going to be church as usual. Uh, and we got to come to the place uh, where we are not going to be mundane uh, and we are not going to be living on this average level, but it's time for us to be elevated and in order for you to be elevated in the physical, first you got to be elevated in the spirit. Uh, tell your neighbor you got to go up in the spirit first because uh, the Bible says, beloved, I wish above all things uh, that thou mayest prosper and be in good health uh, even as your soul prosper. Uh, the spirit of God is what comes in you and causes you to prosper. Uh, let me go down and just run my way through here real fast. I know y'all didn't heard it according to John 14 and 16. Uh, the Bible says Jesus left but he left you a comforter. Uh, that word comforter means a paracletos. Uh, that means somebody that walks with you. Uh, one like the uh, and what that means is people of God, no matter what you're going through, uh, he'll bring you through it. Uh, no matter what's going on around you, uh, he'll bring you out. Uh, no matter what you face with, he'll bring you over. Uh, and you got to understand, people of God, it's the spirit of God that makes things happen. Uh, come on, let's go to Genesis, the first chapter. And the Bible says that the earth was full of oil. Uh, and the Bible says that God spoke and the spirit moved. Uh, I come to tell you, people of God, that when you hook up with the Holy Ghost, things will start moving in your life. Uh, things will start moving in your life. Uh, but you got to come to a place of maturity. you got to come to a place of perfection. you got to want to know the Spirit of God. Uh, you got to want to know the fellowship with Him. Uh, you got to want to know to spend time with Him. Uh, you got to want to know more about Him. Uh, anybody want to know more about Him tonight? Uh, it, it ain't just a funny feeling, baby, that gives you goosebumps. Uh, it's bigger than that. Uh, it ain't just a bunch of tongues uh, that's just to empower you but I'm talking about fellowship and when you walk together when you when you communicate together when you reside and dwell with one another when you entwine in one another I'm talking about something bigger than the natural eye can imagine uh, the mind can't comprehend it uh, but if you hook up with the Holy Ghost things are happen in your life uh, tell your neighbor all you got to do is hook up Because it's when we hook up with the Holy Ghost. Can I come through the church? 